An inverter is a device that converts a DC voltage, known as a battery voltage, into AC voltage, which is the type of voltage your home appliances use. Along the way, the inverter also stepped up low voltage from DC to high voltage of AC, and this is exactly what happened in the solar inverter installation. There are four basic components that work in solar inverter installation. If you are someone who is interested in solar and inverter installation, this video is going to explain to you step by step. I will explain how an inverter works. I will explain how a solar charge controller works, and I will explain how to use solar in series and parallel connections. So along the way, if you think I'm giving you value in this video, please smash on the like button and comment on what you want me to make a video on next. So let's get started. You are welcome back. When we talk about how inverters work, you should keep in mind that there are various and different types of inverters based on their output characteristics and where they can be used. But all these types of inverters work on one single principle, which is that they all convert DC voltage to AC voltage regardless of their types. With a cool definition, we can say that an inverter converts direct current, known as DC, like current from batteries or solar panels, into alternating current, known as AC, which is the type of electricity used by most appliances and the grid. Inverter does this by rapidly switching the DC input on and off, creating a series of pulses that are then shaped into a sine wave, mimicking AC power. Let's take a look at how the DC to AC conversion works. Inverters use electronic components like transistors and capacitors to convert the steady DC flow into a simulated AC waveform. Then the inverter circuitry rapidly switches the DC input on and off at a high frequency, which result in creating a series of pulses. So for example, inverters are used in solar power systems, as power backup devices during outages, in electric vehicles, and in various other applications. So let's go to the next chapter. In a solar inverter installation, the battery acts as a crucial energy storage component, storing excess solar power generated during the day for later use especially during periods of low solar irradiance or grid outage. The four main types of solar batteries are one, lead acid batteries. Lead acid batteries are the tried and true technology of the solar battery world. These deep cycle batteries have been used to store energy for a long time, since the 1800s in fact. And they've been able to stick around because of their reliability. Two, lithium ion batteries. These are lighter, more efficient, and offer faster charging, discharging capabilities, but they are also more expensive. As the popularity of electric vehicles began to rise, EV manufacturers realized lithium ion's potential as an energy storage solution. Three, nickel cadmium batteries. Nickel cadmium, NiCD batteries, aren't as widely used as lead acid or lithium ion batteries. Nickel cadmium batteries first sprung on the scene in the late 1800s but they got a makeover in the 1980s that greatly increased how much energy they could store. Four, flow batteries. Flow batteries are an emerging technology in the energy storage sector. They contain a water-based electrolyte liquid that flows between two separate chambers or tanks within the battery. When charged, chemical reactions occur, which allow the energy to be stored and subsequently discharged. So now let's go to the next chapter where we will talk about solar charge controller. In solar inverter installations, a charge controller, also known as a charge regulator, regulates the voltage and current from solar panels to a battery, preventing overcharging and ensuring efficient energy transfer. The two main types are pulse width modulation, PWM, and maximum power point tracking, MPPT, controllers. PWM is a method used by some solar charge controllers to regulate the charging current of a battery by controlling the duration of the on and off periods of the charging pulse. MPPT, maximum power point tracking, is a technology that optimizes the power output from solar panels by continuously adjusting their operating point to maximize energy capture, especially under varying conditions like partial shading or changing sunlight intensity. So now that you understand what a charge controller is, 
let's go to the next chapter. Solar panels are devices that convert sunlight into electricity through the photovoltaic effect using semiconductor materials like silicon. They consist of multiple photovoltaic cells connected together, typically encased in a durable frame. In a solar inverter installation, connecting solar panels in series increases the overall voltage, while connecting them in parallel increases the overall current. In a series connection, the positive terminal of one panel is connected to the negative terminal of the next panel, and so on forming a chain. And this arrangement adds the voltage of each panel together, while the current remains the same. In a parallel connection, the positive terminals of all panels are connected together, and the negative terminals are connected together. This arrangement adds the current of each panel together, while the voltage remains the same. So now, this is all for today. I hope this video is helpful. If you think so, please smash on the like button and comment what you would want me to make video on next. Have a wonderful day, peace out.